guys digging at this outside here today on this beautiful morning. My dad is over there and there's my detector. My house was built in like the 1830s and I just got this nice old war token. 1863. That's a cool find. Alright guys, I'll get back to you the next. Also found a few wheat pennies. All right, guys, so I found some wheat pennies since the last time I saw you with uh, my Civil War token. But uh, looks like the chickens are taking over my little swinging area. <laughs> but uh, I got in this hole, I got a uh, Merc dime already. It's actually on the side of it. It's a 1941. It's getting really hard to record because it's so muddy around here. We just got a ton of rain, but just got a nice Mercury dime. And it's 1941. I got another signal in the hole, and I think it's going to be another so I'm gonna do this live should be right in here yeah where'd it go Looks like it's going to be a penny. Yep, wheat penny and a silver spill. Hope it's the end. Looks like 1930-something. 37, yeah! Oh, yeah. Alright, guys. I'll get back to you at the next. Alright, guys. Hold it up for recorded that little uh, American wheat penny spill. I just got a good signal. I'm sitting right on top of the Claude, everything seems to be really nice and shallow around here. Got ourselves a nice little flat button. Cool. All right, guys. I will get back to you on the next. All right, guys. I'll give you a little update here now. Uh, it's hard to record everything one after another because um, it's so muddy out. I mean, just, I'm just as muddy as can be. But uh, like the sun's coming out, so that's good. But uh, anyways, so far I've got a handful of wheat pennies, they're everywhere. Uh, nice little flat button there. Uh, the Civil War token, um, War Nickel, 1887 Indian head penny that I just dug. That's cool. Um, and the Merc Dime. And a few other odds and ends. Uh, I think I might have a musket ball, I'm not sure. But uh, right here, got us a silver, it looks like a, like a barber or something. Let's find out what it is. Yep, hope come on, get in there, focus. That's a nice barber. Cool, guys. All right, I'll get back to you at the next. All right, guys, just got another Indian, 1902. I'll get back right, to you. guys, well, I just got a nickel signal in this hole, and I was kind of thinking, and it's probably foil. It's really, really shallow. And uh, I said, well, it could be a nickel, like a buffalo nickel or a v-nickel. would be nice, and lo and behold, it's a v-nickel, 1902, I think. That's sweet. Toasty, but... I'll take it. All right, guys. I'll get back here. All right, guys. Looks like we got a coin in the clump. Pop it out here. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. That's toasted. I think it's a. Indian. It's really toasty though. Yep, it's an Indian hat penny. Cool guys. Alright, I'll get back to you at the next. Alright guys, taking a little break. There's a picture of the house. Kind of see what it looks like. Over there, there's a part that was built in the 1700s, really early. Um, then they built this part, which is the 1830s style part. And then that little part right in there is like Prohibition era. They put another little addition on it. It's actually beautiful inside. The guy showed us around. Um, but uh, anyways, I'm going to try to figure out, let's see what date my barber dime is. Here's some odds and ends that I've been finding. Um, you know, my thimble, some new pennies, and some other weird stuff. But uh, let's see what the barber dime date is. Alright, where are we at here? 
I haven't dug a barber in forever. I knew there had to be one around here too. Put it right down in there. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Looks like 1906. Yep, it's gonna be the year on her. Uh, no mint mark. Kind of worn down, but that's a barber dime. Cool. Alright guys, I'll let you know if I find anything else.